Hey, what is going on pros and prices? Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing Mountain Dew and it's going to be on the ice, which is the lemon and lime. So of course this is an American uh, Mountain Dew. I got this particular can out of the market actually. There was a gears at the market where I got a couple of the other Mountain Dews I reviewed and uh, he was selling them for quite cheap actually. I think he's selling them for like 50p or something, which is actually really dirt cheap. I don't know why they are all still uh, still in date, which is good. I think it's I think it's because the cans are a bit in a bit of a rough condition. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera, but yeah, the cans are seen. You know, they're just they're not in like the brand new condition. But of course, that doesn't matter. I'm getting an in date drink for cheap. And seniors can pay upwards of three pound plus for these when you go to comic cons or these gaming shows and events. You can pay a lot of money for these American sodas and stuff. So, anyways, I'll give you guys a full three sixty of the packaging. So we have. Lots of green on there, which of course, lime green is my favourite colour. You know, some black on there as well. We have a quite cool font on the front. We also have the Man and Jude logo, and then we have the Ice logo, which looks fairly cool. That is pretty fancy. And then we have Lemon Lime. And then what does that say down there? That says, with a splash of real juice. Literally, just a splash, guys. That's important. Just a splash. Uh, what else do we have on the can? On the bag, of course, we have nutritional facts rather than information because it's American. And uh, that's about it. There really isn't much on these... Um, on these drinks so sugar content is oh wow that's quite low actually 25 grams okay that's actually quite low for an american drink most average american fantas or pepsis or anything are generally high 40s you know high 40s uh, grams for sugar so that's actually quite low i'm actually quite impressed by that it's still obviously a lot for 355 more can but it's a darn sight better than almost 50 grams of sugar which like i said a lot of the other drinks have uh, let's see, it contains 1% juice because remember it's just a splash. Uh, high fructose corn syrup, which of course is in all of the American sodas. They don't use that over here in England and maybe Europe, I'm not too sure. And if you didn't know, Mountain Dew is owned by PepsiCo. But apart from that, oh, caffeine content as well, 54 milligrams per per uh, per can. So, but anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup, let's get straight into it. Hopefully it will not explode over me. So the colour I'm assuming is going to be clear, I think. It's either going to be clear or cloudy for lemon, but I'm probably going to be, it's probably going to be green or something. Because these will have artificial colours in them, which I found out with the other American drinks. Uh, the smell and taste, well, it's probably going to either smell of lemon or limes, smell of maybe a lemon air freshener, toilet air freshener, maybe smell of a lime, maybe smell of a lime candle, I'm not too sure. And the taste, well, again, it could be a mix of both. Now, Coke used to do lemon and lime, and of course there's loads of supermarket lemon and lime fizzy drinks, so... We'll just have to find out, guys. Right, don't explode. Cool. Ow. Why are these drinks so tough? Look, it's left imprint on my finger again. Oof. I got a feeling this is going to be green. Nope, I was correct. It was clear. Oh, my word. Look at the <laughs> bubbles in that. Oh, my. Oof. Stinks. Oh, that stinks. I smelled as a weird lemon smell there. Whew. Guys, the amount of fizz that was in that, that was mental. I know Coke is only the fizziest drink, but wow, that was fizzy. That was almost a whole cup just of bubbles. Careful. God, the amount of bubbles coming off the top. It's gone all over my desk. Look, I don't know if you can see the little bubbles coming out the top of it. I don't think you can, but yeah, that and fit fi fizzy. Oh, that stinks. It literally smells of like a lemon. Oh, it's really strong. I can smell it from here. Hang on, let me just clean my desk. There we go. Oh, it went everywhere. So, while I was pouring out, I said I could smell it. It smells really strong of lemon, but it smells of that artificial lemon. Like, you know, you get like, I don't know, antibacterial lemon wipes, for example, for, for the floor, multi surface. It smells just like that. Oh, yeah. It smells a little bit of lime, but mostly smells of lemon. And it, it just smells of antibacterial lemon lime wipes, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't smell too good. Uh, anyways, uh, like I said, the colour is clear, um, so I was correct. Um, again, you could mistake that for fizzy water or anything else, basically. But, yep, it's clear. Nothing interesting. Now, for the taste. Let's try some. Okay. 
That's actually quite nice, not gonna lie. So first of all, I will say is because it's a reduced sugar, it's def it's it's nowhere near as sweet and as syrupy and as sickly as the American Fantas and some of the other Mountain Dews I've reviewed. Definitely isn't as strong, which is good. But there's still a bit of sweetness there, which is nice. In terms of actual syrupiness and high fructose corn syrup, it's not really syrupy. This is more sweeter than syrupiness, which I think some drinks is better, but in this case, I think the sweeter not sweeter is better. So, but initially, drinking this, I was trying to compare it to like a supermarket's own, you know, fizzy lemon and lime drink. Well, even though it's got, you know, some natural flavours in it and 1% juice, the flavours are actually nice because I find some of the cheaper, like, fizzy diet lemonade drinks you get out of the supermarket, they, they can taste just really artificial and, you know, they can just taste just really, you know, really cheap or something. Or for another prime example is I know you're a shopper do uh, like a 250ml can of like a lemonade I think they do lemonade curler and I think someone else and I've, I've tried them all and you know it just tastes cheaper like you know it does but this one this is almost like I'm drinking like uh, Shreps Shreps? Shreps yeah Shreps by uh obviously Coke makes Shreps uh, which is obviously more of a premium mixer drink but they obviously do like you know like kind of lemon mixer drinks and fizzy lemon you know more of a posher kind of upmarket one rather than just a supermarket one. So it tastes like that, like it tastes like a, kind of like a mixing drink, but on its own, it's nice to drink, you know, just like the Streps kind of lemon lime are. In terms of comparison though, say, I'd say it's, it is pretty much just like Streps. Again, maybe though this is definitely on the sweeter side. I will say that it is more sweeter, but to be honest, if you drank a full sugar Streps lemon lime fizzy drink and you drank the sugar free, then, you know, you'd be able to tell the difference because this definitely has got more of a sweeter kick to it. But, uh, no, it's nice. Actually, actually quite like that. Mm. It, actually, it hasn't got any weird aftertaste, you know, like some of the lemon and lime drinks do. It hasn't got that weird, you know, toilet cleaner aftertaste. I mean, there isn't much aftertaste as it is, really, when I'm drinking it, but there isn't a weird aftertaste. So, you know, that's great in terms of, that's great in terms of the aftertaste. Drink it, get the lemon, get a, get a good amount of lime, which again, tastes all tastes nice, and then just kind of goes into nothing. So yeah, I'm impressed with that, guys. Hmm. Let me try some out the can, see if it tastes any different. Yeah, def definitely more fizzy drinking out of the can, but more frothy, but for the most part, no. Still a decent lemon flavor, followed by lime, with no weird aftertaste. No, I'm impressed with that, guys, and reduced sugar's a bonus, so hey-ho. So it gets a thumbs up for me guys. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.